You're about to watch a free five minute sample of a live training video. At the end of the video, I'll tell you where to watch the whole thing or just scroll down for more info. I'll see you in five minutes. Aspect ratio. And this is super important to understand what you are and what you're not looking at here. The aspect ratio is starting off with a wide 16 by nine. In fact, let's just go through them real quick. So you got a wide 16 by nine and then a slightly wider 17 by nine and then a three to two aspect ratio, which is going to be more familiar for uh, Canon video, <clears throat> excuse me, Canon shooters, a one to one crop. So if you're going to be videoing for directly for social media, for Instagram, that can be good. And you have a variety of other aspect ratios, 2.2 to one, 2.76 to one, four to three, and a 2.39 to one. And these are all different aspect ratios that have become common for any number of reasons throughout the industry. Some are more cinematic, some are more like, oh, it's supposed to be film, there's DCI compliance, there's all kinds of different things in here. Ultimately, it's up to you. I mean, if you, unless you are shooting for a specific thing, like I need a shot in this aspect ratio for a particular type of project, it, it's really up to you. And the beautiful thing is that you can always crop in post, right? You don't have to commit to an aspect ratio while you're shooting. In fact, this app is set up so that you can make the decision to either commit or not to, not to commit. So here's what this means. Let's look at, I'll go back to 16 by nine, which is the, the base one or, or uh, standard aspect ratio. And you see it's taking up the full width of the screen there. Let's go to one, let's go to something really dramatic like one to one. So it's cropped it down square. And as I get away from the menus on here, you see that we are seeing a bright image in the middle where it's cropped and then the darker pillars on the sides. Let's go to a different one here. Let's go to another super wide aspect ratio. Let's go two, three, nine to one back out of this again. And again, same thing. Now we're seeing the letterboxing on the top and the bottom, um, and we're seeing a much wider aspect ratio. If I go back into the settings, back into the resolution, you'll see underneath those frame aspect ratio choices, there's something that says crop source to overlay. This is super, super important to be aware of. Crop source to overlay means that it is going to actually crop your video footage to match that aspect ratio, which you might think, well, of course, I mean, I told it to shoot square, give me square video, that's what I want, which may be what you want if your intention is to shoot some video clips, take them straight into Instagram and off you go. But if you are going to shoot video here at square or two, three, nine to one or whatever other aspect ratio, and then bring it into a proper NLE, nonlinear editor, so bring it into Final Cut or Premiere or Resolve or whatever you're using, odds are you would rather have the extra footage, the full 16 by nine aspect ratio that you can then crop later on. So imagine this, let's just, let's go back to the square because it's so dramatic. So you're shooting 16 by nine normally and you say, no, 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 I want to shoot square. Okay. So I shoot square. Well, if I shoot square, that's it. I'm, I'm locked into that aspect ratio. I can't then go, oh, I wish I got something a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right. No, it's there. But if I shoot and I have the whole 16 by nine scene recorded, even though when I'm shooting, I'm just looking at the square, I still have the whole 16 by nine to record it. Then when I'm editing it, I have the ability to slide that shot over in post so I can reframe in post. Super, super handy. Same thing for the wide one. So you've got a super wide shot. Like, so we go to that two, three, nine to one. You see here how, let's, let's do this actually. Let me go back to full 16 by nine. And you'll see, we can see the chip chart uh, top to bottom, right? We see all the different colors on there from uh, the yellows at the top to the black and whites on the bottom. And then I go into the resolution. We'll go two, three, nine to one. And now I no longer, well, okay, kind of, let's just, let's just fudge it a little bit. Let's just say that was the shot. There we go. So now I've cropped out the top, right? Oh man, I cropped out the top. I should have reframed it a little bit differently. I want a little bit of room to move. Well, if I had shot 16 by nine, I of course would have all that footage in there. Uh, if I go back to the 16 by nine view, there we go. We have that whole footage in there. But if I had recorded it this way and allowed it to crop the source, then that top row of color icons would be gone. However, if I disable crop source to overlay, I turn that off, you see the screen changes. No longer are those outside areas dark. All I'm seeing, the only difference I'm seeing is a framing guide. That framing guide helps me to know, okay, well now I've got everything in shot and frame there. That's the way that I want it. But if I mess up on something on my framing, that footage is still going to be there. So the framing guide is simply telling you where your shot would be if you were actually cropping it where it will be once you crop it in post, because maybe that's your intention, but you don't actually throw away the data while you're shooting. So the default position, you'll notice whenever I enable any of these, let's go back into the settings, back to resolution. Whenever I enable one of these, it always immediately defaults back to crop source to overlay. I actually would much prefer to see it not do that. I would like that button to be sticky. So hopefully that's something we can see in a future update because I find that to be a little bit risky. If I am 
switching aspect ratios for whatever reason and I forget to disable that, then I'm going to end up truly cropping the shot. Now, uh, you know, obviously that those big black bars are going to be on there, so it's going to be pretty obvious that you're doing it. But You've just watched a five-minute sample of a live training video. Head to photojoseph.com slash store to see the rest of it, as well as the other videos in this series, and to sign up as a member so you have access to the ever-growing library of live training courses.